Capricorns, how are you? It's your girl here, Queen Hawaii. It's good to see you guys. Thank you for coming back. And it is time for your general love reading for September 21st of 2021. Hope you all are well, your loved ones, your pets, your friends, family, all, all well. And I'm sending you so much love, okay? If it's your first time here, welcome. It's good to have you here. Let me get a drink of water. My throat feel dry in the damn Sahara Desert. Mm-hmm. All right, that's much better. So a couple of things before I start your reading. Personal readings are still 30% off. You have about a week and a half until October 1st to take advantage of that caps. So you can email MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com if you're interested. That's MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com for 30% off your personal reading with your girl. I look forward to connecting with you. If you have time, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Miss Hawaii Tarot. That's Miss Hawaii Tarot on Instagram. That is a, another way to show your support for the channel, as well as um, liking the Facebook page, um, which I have the link in the description box below for the Facebook page. If you'll be so kind to go ahead and like that page. And again, subscribe, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please, please, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. There's also a, another page. Why can't I talk today? There's also another YouTube channel I have called Miss Hawaii Scorpios. If you would be so kind to go ahead and subscribe to that channel as well, I would greatly appreciate it. That link is in the description box below. And of course, subscribe to this channel. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And um, there's a link below that will take you to the extended reading. If you feel like this reading resonates, it's speaking to your heart and your soul. You can click that link that will take you over to Vimeo and will take you to the extended reading link where I pull your person's card, see how they feel about you, see what actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you. And I also get advice for you from the universe. Okay. So, um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in the extended uh, thank you for everybody that's a member. If you're not a member yet, click that join button where you get access to different readings throughout the month. Um, readings that are only private for my members only. They're not publicly published on YouTube. So you definitely want to take advantage and become a member and get that membership access. And again, this is a positive only channel. Let's please support each other on here. Do not leave any mean comments, any reckless comments. It's only going to get you blocked and block your blessings. Okay. All right, cat, cat. Let's see what's going on with my Capricorns. Okay. How is Capricorn feeling in love? How is Capricorn? Oh, okay. The King of Pentacles in reverse popped out. A lot of y'all more focused on your bread right now. I'm not even going to lie. A lot of you guys are more focused on your money right now. Um, don't become too materialistic with that King of Pentacles in reverse. All right, I got to be honest with some of y'all. Some of y'all a little bit too invested in your career and your money. And you're kind of blocking out love. You know what I'm saying? We got the judgment card in reverse. Okay. All right. What else we got for Capricorn? Some of y'all dealing with another earth sign. Possibly another Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. And I'm even getting Scorpio energy with the judgment card. The strength card. Leo energy. All right, so it's been a lot for you in, in love right now. Um, you're holding it together with the strength card, but it's been kind of stressful for you. It's been kind of stressful for you. Um, you're thinking about a lot of past shit, the way people have treated you in the past. Um, and I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to let the past go. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So there is an energy here of somebody here that's got a lot of love for you. Um, it could be somebody new. I'm getting for some of you as somebody that you've known already. Um, Water energy, possibly, okay? Somebody here that got a lot of love for you, okay? Loves you deeply. Now, let's see how your person feel. Or that could be you having a lot of love still for somebody, but, you know, trying to let go of the past. Page of Wands, okay? So some of y'all got somebody new, possibly interested in you, possibly younger than you. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Three of Cups in reverse. Some of y'all, this person parties a little bit too much or got too many friends or drinks too much or something like that. Ace of Cups. Ooh, yeah, somebody here got feelings for you. New love here. I'm seeing it. New love, new love. <laughs> and then we got the King of Swords in reverse here. 
Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Bottom of the deck, we got the Five of Swords. You got a lot of people in your read this week, Cap. A lot of energy is coming up in your read, all right? So let's figure out what the hell is going on. <laughs> all right? So like I said, I definitely feel like this King of Pentacles in reverse is you. More focused on your bread, your money. Not really trying too hard. Um... Some of y'all got two people here that's in, that's coming up on, on your person's side. It could be one person here, a newer person that's interested in you. Um, person feel like you're kind of keeping your distance, though, with the three of cups in reverse. Okay? But somebody does have feelings for you. And then you got a king of swords in reverse. That could be somebody you're not talking to right now. All right? Let's go ahead and clarify these and get down to the nitty gritty. Show me the King of Pentacles in reverse, please. King of Pentacles in reverse. The Six of Swords. Okay, so that's you moving on. Yeah, I told you that. A lot of you guys are leaving shit in the past. Everything, maybe some of y'all were holding on to somebody from your past, but I feel like a lot of y'all just really trying to let that shit go now and move forward. You know what I'm saying? The Hangman in reverse. Yeah, maybe some of y'all was waiting for somebody to change or waiting on somebody to come forward. And y'all leaving all that shit behind. Death card in reverse. Scorpio energy with the four wands in reverse. So it's a slow process. You know what I'm saying? When you are releasing somebody you loved, you cared about a lot, or were in love with. Um, especially if you at their feelings were genuine. It's not something you just get over with in the snap of a, you know, in the blink of an eye. Um, could be a Scorpio here that you were dealing with. But I see a lot of you guys here, you're... Determined to move on. Like I said, it may be a slow process, but you're doing it, Capricorn. I'm proud of you. You're not giving any more of your energy to this past situation or to somebody from your past here. Maybe that you were holding on to for some time. Yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse. A lot of you guys, you don't want to be single. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't want to be single. You would love to be in a relationship. But right now, you're focused. You're more career driven. You're more money driven. Um, some of y'all need to be careful too, like I said, with the... King of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Don't become too materialistic. Make sure you're not letting money try to replace things. You know what I mean? Because money is just money. Show me the Judgment card in reverse. The Eight of Cups. Yeah, there's somebody you definitely um, decided to end things with and leave um, to go a different way, to go a different route with this person. Judgment upright. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the Queen of Swords in reverse. I'm seeing you cut somebody out of your life. High Priestess is here. Intuition could have been kicking in in high drive telling you, yeah, it was time. With the Judgment card upright and reverse, yeah, it was time. Okay? So you definitely walked away here from somebody. Um, Queen of Swords in reverse, you cut them out. Okay? You're not taking any more of their shit. Four Cups. You were discontent. You were unhappy. Things weren't working out in your favor and it was time. Show me the Queen of Swords in reverse. Could have been a toxic relationship between you and somebody, possibly an air sign. King of Swords. You thought logically about this, okay? You put your feelings to the side and you wanted to think with your brain, with your logic. And the best thing to do was to release this energy, okay? Let's see the Strength card. You're very mentally strong, so it took a lot of mental strength, a lot of courage. Ace of Cups. New love, okay? So it took a lot for you to go into the direction here of wanting new, of leaving the past behind and bringing in new love, okay? The tower, mm-hmm. So this person could have brought forth a tower moment in your life. Something could have went down crazy, could have been a very um, crazy breakup between you and this person. I'm getting heavy Scorpio energy. It left you hurt, you know what I mean, with the Knight of Cups in reverse. You could have been dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, somebody who was emotionally manipulative towards you. That's why you got the strength card. Okay, but it also means that there was a lot of disappointment. You had a lot of feelings invested in this, and it was time. It was time, cat. Star card is on the bottom, Aquarian energy. Some of you dealing with an Aquarius. This is about healing. This is about renewal, okay? Yeah, this person really was either, like I said, emotionally immature. They could have played a lot of emotional games with you. They could have been kind of moody, kind of in and out things like that and it really tested your fucking strength but i see you holding it together you got the ace of cups here twice in your reading so you definitely have opened the door for new love okay 
Show me the Queen of Cups. The King of Wands in reverse. The Hangman in reverse. Oh boy. Four Swords. Mm. With the Six of Swords. Okay. Okay. So. You got a lot of love in you. You do got a lot of love in you. You may be trying to act front and act like you don't. And you're so busy and you were working, yada, yada, yada. And I don't have time. But nah, you want to give out all this love. You feel Some of y'all feel like you were born to love. The Queen of Cups is compassionate, loving, caring. You got two sides to you for some of my caps. You got that serious, stern side where you're like, you know, I don't care about love and let love be love when it comes it comes and then you got the other side of you that's sitting at home watching romance movies and fantasizing and wanting it you know what i mean um you're not rushing it you know what i mean you're not pushing it you're doing a lot of healing you're at home chilling thinking a lot about this you know what i mean but this is also a recovery period for you this is also a preparation period for you okay um some of you guys were dealing with the fire sign and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you still have a lot of love for them, but I feel like you don't want to even touch that. You know what I mean? That could be your past person. Show me the King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this is the person here that hurt you. Yeah, some of y'all, it's a fire sign or a water sign, okay? And um, even though you may still have love for them, you may really still do have love for them, but I don't see you giving to that anymore. With the Knight of Wands in reverse, this person could have been giving out some type of fuckboy vibes or fuckgirl vibes. Could be why you withdrew your energy, your, your, you know what I mean? I, like I said, you have a lot of love for this person still, but I see you wanting to move forward. Because like I always say in my readings, just because you love somebody don't mean you're supposed to be with them. Okay? Show me the Page of Wands. Who is this Page of Wands? This new energy. The Emperor in reverse. Ooh. Could be an Aries for some of you guys. Nine of Wands. Somebody here is really trying to get you. Ace of Swords in reverse. Ooh. With the King of Cups. Who is this? Who is this cat? Some of y'all is somebody new. Or newer, trying to get close to you. Um, trying to get you to communicate more. Trying to get you to open up. But I see you being real guarded towards this person. They're coming off a little bit strong for some of y'all. With the Emperor in Reverse. Show me the Emperor in Reverse. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, this is out here twice. You got somebody here that's really trying to start some new love with you. But either they feel like you're a little bit too laid back. <laughs> Or this person is coming on a little bit too strong. And I feel like you're not letting them get with the Ace of Swords in reverse. You're not really either open up communication like that with them. Or you just kind of just real guarded towards this person. Show me the Three of Cups in reverse. The Temperance in reverse. Could be a Sagittarius. The magician in reverse. Oh, you don't trust this person. And the six of swords. With the six of cups in reverse. Okay. Wow. Um, okay, I feel like you're keeping your distance here. I feel like there's somebody here you don't really trust. Maybe you don't feel that... I don't know. I feel like there's somebody here, possibly somebody new trying to get close to you, Cat. But I don't think that you fuck with them like that. With the temperance in reverse, they kind of either annoy you. Because <laughs> some of y'all is somebody younger than you. The magician in reverse, you feel like something about them is manipulative. King of Pentacles, that's you. Yeah, I feel like you're keeping your distance here from this person. You don't trust them. And you might end up just leave, stop fucking with them. Dropping them all together. For some of y'all, either this person party too much. They have too many people around them. They drink. They have a younger energy or they seem a little immature. They trying to fuck you too bad. It's something about this person that got you kind of like, 
Mm -mm. Maybe they're not grounded enough for you. Let me see the Ace of Cups. But somebody trying to get close to you. Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah. I don't think you trying to fuck this person. Page of Swords. Could be an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. Four of Swords. Oof. With the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody here is trying to trying to um, get closer to you. They think that you're very interesting. They think that you're very attractive. Yeah, this person is kind of <laughs> heartbroken here. Because it's like they're either trying to speak to you or trying to initiate more conversation with you. But I feel like a lot of you guys are just chilling right now. They feel like you're not really putting in much effort. They're putting in most of the work. Putting in most of the effort. And... Um, this person could be younger than you because, again, with the Page of Swords, I feel like they watch you a lot. If you're friends on social media, they're looking at your social media, things like that, or asking people about you, friends about you, and things like that. They're very into you. Ace of Cups again. You see, I just pulled that randomly. Somebody here trying to have new love with you, but I don't know how you feel because it's got them feeling Three of Swords. Like they think maybe you got a third party i don't know what this person is thinking but somebody here trying to get close to you they're trying to get you to open up more emotionally communicate and capricorn I'm like show me the king of swords in reverse that's crazy right the hangman in reverse <laughs> The Knight of Swords in reverse. Oh. And the Death card in reverse. So then you got your past person here. Now you got your past person here. Okay, this is a different energy. There's somebody, your past person here. This person was real mean to you. Either they was aggressive or I'm seeing arguments, shit like that. But the Knight of Swords, King of Swords energy. There's somebody from your past here that hasn't even let you go. But I don't think you're talking to this person. They're not talking to you. I don't see them taking any action toward you or anything. It's just their energy is still here. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Yeah, this is a past energy. Somebody else. I told you I pick it up on two different energies. There's somebody that was a um, very destructive ending here between you and somebody. But this person hasn't let you go yet. They're mad. They're angry. They're still here. Why are they here? Show me the Ten of Swords. <laughs> we looking at the new person. Five of Swords. Oh, this person grimy, huh? Eight of Swords. Ooh, this person has you feeling real trapped, confined, bound. This was real toxic. Look how this person is pouring shit on this person's head. Some of y'all was dealing with an abuser. If they weren't physically abusive, they were somebody who was mentally abusive, verbally abusive. Show me the death in reverse, but their energy is still here like they haven't let you go. Page of Swords, and they still keep be keeping an eye on you here. You got two people watching you, a past person, and you got the moon. But your past person being sneaky, the new person is keeping it real. They don't give a fuck. They're not trying to hide. They want you to know they're interested in you, but this past person is sneaking and hiding and watching you. Or still wondering what you're doing. That's why their energy is here. Show me the Knight of Swords in reverse. Uh-huh. The King of Wands in reverse. That's the person we saw over on your side. The person that you have moved on from. Told you I got two different energies. This person was mean to you. Aggressive, arrogant, cocky, talk too fucking much, and very stubborn. Let's get three Kipper cards, please. Three Kipper cards for Cap, and then I'll go into your extended Cap. Imprisonment. So some of y'all was dealing with somebody that was in jail, or went to jail, or is in jail, um, for some of you, this person made you feel like you was in jail. I think that's the past person. Mature male. 
So some of y'all dealing with an older man or you were dealing with an older man, somebody older than you. Maybe some of you guys are the older man. Maybe some of you have a mature man coming your way. And then we got toil and labor. I already know y'all work hard. I already know that message of concern here. So some of you guys may be receiving some type of message here that's going to put you a little bit on edge. Um, but I see you handling it. You know what I mean? I'm not worried because you got the strength card. But the toil and labor, yeah, a lot of you guys are working really hard. Like I said, some of you guys are working too hard with the King of Pentacles in reverse. And look out for materialism, okay? Don't let money control you, Cap. And don't try to let money replace love because, you know, shit is not working out how you want it to work out right now in the love field, okay? But toil and labor, yeah, you're working really, really hard. Some of y'all need to take a vacation, I'm getting. Some of y'all need to just take a vacation, go away for the weekend. Well, Miss Hawaii, I want all my money. You know, I got I got goals and I understand me too, but sometimes you gotta clear your mind, clear your energy. You know what I'm saying? Mature man is here, and then we got imprisonment. Okay. All right, Cap. So that's what I got for y'all. Look out for that message of concern. I don't think it's gonna be anything too crazy, but it could be anything. It could be your light bill went up 10 10 per 10 cent. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, look out for that this week. That is your love general love reading for September 21st. I'm going to go into the extended now. The link is below in the description box. I hope to see you all there. If not, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And y'all have a great week. Bye.